Okay, this video is for noses. Okay, Tommy, we're a little high. I'd like to have your helmet under his chin. Okay, we need to get extension. It looks like we get there, but then once we see that where the play is going, we need to work to try to throw this guy or get rid of this guy before we start pursuing. If we just start running, this guy's going to stay on you and he is going to just drive you and put you in the ground. We have to work to try to get rid of this guy. Otherwise, he's just going to keep blocking you. Okay, we're way too high when we're slanting here. We need to be a lot lower. This guy's able to get underneath you. And that's why he's literally, they're able to lift you right out of your shoes here. Uh, we have to be a lot lower. We need to be sweeping grass. We need to be turning our shoulders. Okay, typically you're, you're pretty good with this. Um, we need to be a lot lower as when we're doing this here. Okay. Okay, hey, Tommy, we need to drop the knee and turn away from this pressure here. Uh, that way we're not getting driven out so much. Okay, that's too, we're giving up too much ground there. Hey, Tommy, this is a very nice job here. Um, okay, uh, getting your hands inside, working your hands inside, uh, making sure you have that inside hand position, you get extension, and because of that, you're able to get off the block and go and make the tackle. Um, this is a nice job here. I like your, I like your stance, you're nice and wide. Okay, your elbows could be tighter. Um, but you rework your hands back inside. And so that's why you're able to get off and go make the tackle. Okay, I like that you're trying to work another move here, Tommy, that's good. Working both A gaps, trying to find an angle to get there. Now, Tommy, I don't know why you're slanting this direction. I think since he's in a five, I think you should be slanting that way. And I think that's where, um, yeah, I think I think that's the issue. I think we're slanting the wrong way here. I think you should be slanting that way. Okay, now your slant um, looks nice, um, but we should be slanting the other way, I believe. Okay, good job there. Good job trying to work angles. Okay, he reaches you one way. You're playing that lag technique. And you work over the top. That's good once you see the play goes away. So that's good. And you're able to get into the tackle here. Let's go try to rip that ball out. Okay, don't guess here. It looks like you guessed and you're going the wrong direction. Okay, play is definitely going that way. Play this guy square, get extension, and then when you see where the play goes, then you can work over the top. Okay, you see it's passed, you're working an angle, that's good. Nice job. Oh, you almost got there. But I think your pressure, I think your pressure is the reason why he, 
um, decided to tuck and run it. This is a good job here trying to fight club claw, getting by your guy. Okay, this now we're slanting the correct direction here. Now try not to get pressed so far laterally. Try to sit. I want you to try to work vertically so that we don't get turn uh move too far. It's a great job spinning back inside though, once you realize the play's going away. Just notice how just how fluid that is, and then you're able to run flat down the line of scrimmage, and you would have been in on that tackle as well. But try not to get pressed so far laterally, try to work vertically um, so we don't open the hole on the backside. Okay, here we're slanting again. Okay, so when you're slanting, this is the rush lane we're trying to work here. Um, now, if you're getting double teamed uh, on a pass play, that's okay. That means that somebody else should be getting a one-on-one. -on -one. Like right here, he's getting a one-on-one. -on -one. He's getting a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so Braden, it really should be Braden uh, or even our outside back here, our Mosman here, that should be putting pressure on the quarterback. Uh, if you're getting double teamed on a pass protection, uh, I don't expect you to, to get pressure or make a sack. Um, it should be somebody else. Okay, stay square. It looks like you're, you're guessing again here. You're guessing, and it's clear that play is going away. So this is an easy reach. Um, we shouldn't be spinning out of a base technique. We shouldn't have to. I mean, we should be getting into our guy and then being able to get rid of him and then go pursue down the line of scrimmage. Uh, so don't, don't be guessing as much as I think you are guessing. Okay? Just get hands on, get extension, and then react. Okay, here you're slanting. Okay, you get into your gap. You stay square. Now don't run up the line. Don't run into the backfield. Run flat down the line of scrimmage because now you are a trail player. You're not going to catch him. You're not going to catch him. I want you to run flat, if anything, or start trailing back a little bit so you can get in a, in a position. So right now you should be running flat down the line of scrimmage or a little bit back. So you can be in a position where you can cut this guy off if he decides to cut the ball back. Okay. But right now you're just in a trail position. Don't be a chaser. Okay, Tommy there, it looks like you were jogging and not giving me a full effort play there. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Okay, it looked like you just kind of jogged after um, after you got off your guy. Okay, it looks like you're just kind of jogging. Okay, you and Braden kind of look like you're just jogging. I don't like that. You got to be going 100, 100 miles an hour, 100% the whole time. Okay, Gabe, you're too high. Gabe, we're too high on our rip as well. Okay, we did just need to be sitting down lower for both. I do like how you throw your arm here to get his arm off you, but we're just, uh, we're too high. Once again, Gabe, I think we're just a little too high on our rip. Good job getting the ball. OK, 
Okay, good job there on the pass rush. It's kind of hard to see there. Uh, you did a good job working off that block there. I like your tight hands there, Gabe. That's good. Yeah, I like your initial punch. You have nice tight, tight elbows, and so you win that battle of getting extension. Try to work on getting rid of that guy sooner on pass.